Good morning everyone. So today is week one, day seven. So I've got this nice chart here for my entire program and I've matched it up for a whole heap of dates on the calendars. So I am going to be ticking this to say I've done it already, 16 kilometer long run. I thought, I'm really not feeling like going for a run today. Um, I'm running late in starting. I'm using the GoPro, so this GoPro is probably going to stuff up on me at some point during the run. <laughs> what a beacon of positivity I am at the moment, hey. So I'm going to go out, get a warm up in. Um, it's I think it's still a little bit dark. How dark is it? Mm. Pretty dark still, but it's seven o'clock. It's light enough for me to see. Um, stalling. Stop stalling. 16 kilometer run. The first eight kilometers, they want me to run at five minutes 50 per kilometer, which is a fairly slow pace for me. But now that I'm not feeling it, it might feel fast. And then the last eight kilometers, I have to run at a pace of 5 minutes 20 or 5 minutes 25. So the whole idea is doing a negative split today. So if I can get to 8Ks, then I know the second half will be easier. Anyway, this has gone on for too long. Let's get into it. kilometer in and I'm thinking I might try and do this as a kilometer by kilometer kind of run so yeah first K in I don't know 5.52 feels like it's taken a long time to warm up uh, might need to do some injury prevention left ankle is still feeling a bit funny and it takes a while for it to warm up but it's like I've had it looked at, there's nothing wrong with it, so I think it's just needs recovery. So next Monday, not this one coming, one after, I'm getting my tattoo worked on. And I think I'm going to be forcing absolutely no workouts for the entire week. But we'll just see how it goes over the next week anyway. See how it feels, how it builds up. Okay, kilometre two. Five minutes 41. So it's a bit too fast. I even had to stop for a car back there. So I'm going to try and dumb it down a little bit. And just cruise on through to the third kilometre. Good thing is down this part I've got a water fountain so I'm going to utilise that and get some water I guess. Body's feeling better after a warm up. I think I just need to try and find something that will warm up that ankle before I start running. Good morning. Kilometre 3 in 5.59 with the water break. To be honest, I'm feeling really warm now. That's why I've stripped off up here. So I think my biggest problem is hydration. That's probably why I'm not recovering. So I stopped recording just before, as there was a couple of people that would have been in the video, so I thought I'd just record after passing them. And I've noticed I've been running too fast again. I think that's just the go-go on my legs at the moment. 
once I realised I was halfway through this kilometre and I was running at 5.30 pace just letting them do what they want to do so I've got confidence for the last 8 kilometres at least at this point in time kilometre 4, 5.48 a bit more respectable so I'm just going to leave it at that in a bit of a zone at the moment see you at kilometre 5 Oh, kilometre 5 in 5.54 oh, There was a nice gentleman back there and he asked me how I was and I said I'm okay It took me 4 or 5 kilometres to get to that but I think I'm okay Oh, yes I'm using the traffic lights as a bit of a reprieve from running because I'm hot and sweaty. Anyway, 560 meters left in this K. Let's go. So I'm a bit late in recording this video. I've gone a bit over halfway through this kilometer. Uh, it was uh, six minutes and six seconds. That's with that little walk break. <sighs> right now I'm sitting at 5.46 pace, which isn't bad. So, kilometre 7, uh, 5.44, so it was a bit quicker. Um, I'm in a different mindset now. There's only a few kilometres ago where I'm like, oh, my legs are just doing what they want to do. But now that I've been in this zone for so long, I'm worried that I'm not actually going to be able to do the 525s. Like I should be more than capable, but sometimes that's just the mindset that people get into when they're doing this kind of training. So when you're halfway through the run and then you realize, oh, now I have to pick it up. I think it's just hard. But podcast is over. No music at the moment. When I get closer to eight kilometers, which is 730 meters away, then I'll start putting on my normal music. Something to get me going, I guess. Kilometer eight, 556. Music is going, and my watch yells at me to say I'm going too fast. And again, <sighs> find your zone, Maddie. You've got this. Second kilometer, 522. I know, that should be the first one. Sorry. <sighs> I should just say kilometre nine. So, yep, yeah, just gonna keep going. Bye. Don't know where that came from. Kilometre 10, 5.22. I was misreading my screen. <sighs> but at the start of this, K. Okay. I was doing a 5.05 pace. Must be the music. Kilometre 11. 5.29. Just five more to go. Gonna get some more water over there. And that should help get me to the end. Kilometre 12. <laughs> that was weird. Five minutes, 19. Kilometre 13, 5.24. This next one might be a bit harder with Bradman. Let's see what we do though. <sighs> bye bye. Kilometre 14, 5.27. That's with the hill. So I'm pretty good with that. Pretty happy. <sighs> People behind me in the camera, if you can see them. They wish me a happy Easter. 
everyone's happy today it seems that's good oh, it's refreshing what pace am i running at 515 Kilometre 15, 5.23. So, last one. I was debating doing a fast one, but I think I'll just keep it going. Oh, good song. Oh. All right, Matty, shut up and run. Oh. Well done, Matt. You've done excellent. So final kilometre was about 5.05 to 5.10. So it did pick up in the end, which wasn't intentional, but it happened anyway with the music. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's time to have a cool down, have a quick shower, and then I'm gonna get ready to go to the gym. Um, yeah. I've got body balance in about 50 minutes, so I don't have much time to spare. I guess um, a little stretch will be alright. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of it at yoga anyway, so <sighs> it's important to stretch. And I think I'm going to increase the amount that I stretch now, increase my flexibility. It's like um, uh, Lean Beef Patty on YouTube, she also says, uh, uh, be bendy or die. <laughs> so it's like, you lose your flexibility or you lose your strength. I think your life deteriorates a bit. Um, so everyone, stretch. Oh, maybe I need a stretching program. So many things. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that so I don't ramble on for too long. Thank you all for watching today's video and I shall see you in the next one. It's good that I've recorded this now. It gives me something to do because I've caught up on my videos at this stage. So, have a good one. Bye.